Okay, good. All right. <clears throat> oh, excuse me, guys. Uh, welcome to another MLB The Show 21 stream here on Twitch. I'm next JG Chen 24, and today we're gonna be we're back in Diamond Dynasty, where uh, yesterday I took the opportunity to go ahead and just do uh, franchise mode because I wasn't really sure what it was that I wanted to do. In Diamond Dynasty, but now I have a bit of an idea. So as you can see, there's not much time left in the first inning program. There's only two days left. Two days, and that's it. So Thursday, three. It looks like it's uh, actually four hours. Oh, I'm sorry. Okay, so at Thursday at two o'clock, this inning program is done. Or you're not going to be able to earn any more XP through playing the game, you know, for this inning. Because the second inning is going to come out. With that said, still one last chance to be able to get all the, all the XP that you need. And currently, right now, where I sit, I'm at 583,000. I only have three rewards that are left. The Space One Pack, the 10 Pack, the 10 Chill Packs, and then of course the Live Series Diamond Choice Pack. Um, I don't know if I'm going to get here. I'm going to try, but we'll see what happens. Uh, but I definitely wanted to at least get this, the Space One program, because if I end up getting Jerry's Familia, if I end up getting either one of these 90, 90 overalls, I'm selling them. Like I'm not, I'm not keeping them. Uh, I might sell, I might sell these guys, but honestly, they're only ten thousand, and it's like that's not even worth it in my mind. I'd rather just keep them. So we'll see what happens, and then obviously we get one of these throwback uh, unis or the alternative. So you know, but overall. That's that pack was at least the one that I wanted to go back and get. I already have Jerry's familiar, so I'm not looking for him. But if I were to get him again, that'd be kind of cool, or kind of cool. So, a couple different ways we're going to do this today. I thought the best way we sh I should start this off is with Conquest, the Nation of Baseball. I have not done this yet. Um, I'm going to go ahead and do it. Ooh, Yankees are all right trying to... Wait, did the Phillies just... Okay, uh, I could skip all that. Skip. And just get as many fans as possible. All right. Let's go ahead and steal from the Colorado Rockies. I've been, I've been putting this off for a long time, not because I didn't want to do it, but I, I really just, I, I, I view this, I viewed this as kind of the, um, if I had nothing, nothing better to do, really, kind of situation where, um, if I had nothing better to do, <laughs> this was it. So I wanted to hold this off for days that, you know, I could go ahead and if I if I got nothing in mind, I can uh, just come in here and just play some conquest, level up, and get all kinds of rewards and everything. But uh, of course, then I, you got to remember that with the with the with the nation of baseball. This year, there is incentive to do it more than once. Like in years past, it's always been, you do it once, that's all you really need to do, and then, you know, then you, then you, uh, you don't have to. You could if you wanted to, but you didn't have to. This year, if you want some prospects, you're going to have to play this map over again. Because, because they have prospects for each division. 
if you conquer all the strongholds of the teams in that division. So if you conquer all the NL West, then you get then you get an NL West prospect pack, and then you can choose which one you want. I mean, obviously, when I do the NL East, I'm going to be going straight for Brett Batty. I mean, there's really no doubt about that. So, but this is a good opportunity to go ahead and, you know, level up your players. Level, level yourself up. Nice. Good job, Giambi. Come on, Piazza. RBI right here. Right here, right now. Mm. So, but if you guys missed yesterday's stream, uh, nothing big really happened. I just decided to go into franchise mode and do my series against the Philadelphia Phillies, which I initially thought was going to be a four-game series, but it's actually just a, it was just a three-game one. And Mike Piazza is going to drill one uh, past the second baseman to drive in the first run. Hell yeah, let's go. So that was a wow. I'm not gonna spoil it. You're just, the video is go, the stream is going up on YouTube as we speak. It's a long one. It's almost three hours, so it's gonna take a little bit of time. It might end up being posted later tonight. Um, I'm definitely hoping it's not gonna be tomorrow because I don't want that to be going on tomorrow. And Don Smith just gonna crank one. Out of here, give us a four to nothing lead. That's why I love Dom Smith. I absolutely love playing with Dom Smith. The only one, I would argue that the only card that could possibly rival him to me, Jordan Alvarez. I don't know why, it's just that I always seem to have a lot of success with Jordan. And Jose Ramirez is just going to pop this up. Great. So, if I if, if the first chance that I get to do the AO, AO West um, Team Affinity Program, because I'm going to do that eventually, uh, the first card I'm going for is Jordan. And I know a lot of people would be like, well, what about Joey Gallo? Look, I've tried playing with Joey Gallo, and I just don't have a lot of success with him. It's kind of like Corey Kluber of last year. Everyone everyone said how well they were doing with Corey Kluber, the 99 overall. And I played with him last year, and I, was, and I couldn't do well, both online and offline. He was by far one of the worst pitchers I had in the game. And he was a 99. So. You know. It, it, it's just a matter of which cards do you do better with. So I did better with Jordan and with um, Dom Smith. I also did well with Sixto Sanchez, who I'm actually playing with right now. For the Rockies, the second baseman. You know, I, I don't know. I've just, every time I've gone with 6 0, he's done, he's done well for me in Conquest. Or, well, not in Conquest, but in, uh, in Showdown. So I don't know what it is, but I just, I just have a lot of success with him. Uh, I'm not going to be showing daily moments because I just did that already today and I got the Jason Giambi rookie card again. Not like I really needed it. Uh, I've already done the program because I've already got Jason Giambi on my team. As you can see right here. Okay, Giambi, why would you not go to first instead of tagging him? If you didn't tag him, he's safe. You lucked out. You luck out. Plain and simple. One and 
Come on, six cell. Set him down here. Ah. Uh. So yeah. Uh six cell um ooh. Uh, I've, I've had a little bit of success with Luis Castillo. I can't say that I've had a lot, because I really haven't used him all that much. I only use him if, um, if 6-0 is not available. Strike 3, sit down! So if, if, um, so like if 6-0 is not available come the pitcher round, then I go with Luis Castillo. You know, it, it, again, it's all about what cards do you feel comfortable uh, playing with. And for me, that's Jordan Alvarez, Sixto Sanchez, and um, and Dom Smith. Obviously, I'm going to have to make a decision between Jordan and and Dom Smith. But ultimately, uh, well, actually, I don't have to make a decision. At least not now, because the point is trying to level them up once I get them. So, Dom Smith, I'm doing that right now. I don't have Jordan yet. I'll probably get him at a later point. We'll see. Oh, no. Roberto! Jeez. Leading up for the Rockies, the right hey. fielder, Charlie. Blackman. Chuck Nassie going down to uh, silver instead of gold. I'm happy that that happened because now that means that I'm not going to have to spend a thousand stubs in order to get in order to buy them off the market. Oh, Jose! Over a hundred thousand in stubs. For, um, you know, for MLB the show and everything. And I don't know what to do with it. I, I want to save it up in case there's like a Mets player that uh, ends up being in like a pack or whatever that's limited time or ends up being a ranked season or so another battle royale kind of reward that, um, you know, I want to save up, save up for that. Yeah, he would have been safe even if I had gone straight home. Or straight to second. Just a hard hit ball. Uh, yeah, so I'm really, really just trying to save up for in case any Mets end up being, end up as like ranked seasons or, um, or, uh, or Battle Royale or a pack or anything like that, so. But it is kind of burning, it is like burning a hole in my pocket. And I want to spend it. So what I'm thinking, but the headliner's pack right now, I'm not that I have anything against Yvonne, but what was the whole, if I'm going with Yvonne, what was the whole point of me going, up, uh, going to get uh, Mike Piazza? Now, I know at some point Piazza is going to be out of date because, you know, then he's going to, uh, he's only going to be possibly a 94 tops if you level him up so much. Now I mean, so a 94, it's not bad, but we know we're going to eventually get 99 overalls. So, at best, I mean, right now Piazza's starting for me, but I know at some point he's not going to start for me. If anything, he might be a bench back. Just so I can say, I kept him on my team. Wait, hold up on that, Dom Smith. 
And by the way, I have no guesses in terms of the monthly awards program that's coming out tomorrow from what I understand. Uh, this is what other people have told me, so kind of I'm kind of taking this with a grain of salt. But we'll see. Maybe it comes out on Thursday. That's something to look forward to. A new set, a new inning program, and 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 a monthly awards program. So that'd be cool. That would be cool if they did that. But it would not surprise me if they decided to go ahead and put the monthly awards program on Wednesday, so as to not overshadow the second inning program. Ah, all right, Dom. It's all right. He already got a home run for us, so. Yes, I know. Sorry, my dad was just telling me that the Grom's not pitching tonight. Because he has a bit of a, he has soreness in his, in his pitching arm. Which is fine because you shouldn't be taking a risk, especially with a guy like Jacob DeGrom. By far one of your best pitchers so far this season. Yes, he doesn't have the record to show for it. But, like, if you take, a, I, I would argue if you take away the first loss, which was, or the first no decision, which was against Philadelphia that he should have won, he would have a much better record. He really would. Come on, six oh. All right, it's all right. It's all right, six oh. To show bros, look, I would, I would, I would like to. But there's no point in me doing Battle Royale because I've already got Tom Seaver. So there's no point for me there. And Rank Seasons, I don't like the rewards. Or none of the rewards interest me. Prince Fielder, Ryan Sandberg, Nolan Ryan. Like, those don't really interest me. So I'm going to wait to make my Rank Seasons debut when... The, uh, the when the reward card is uh, is a Mets player. When that happens, I will definitely play ranked seasons, regardless if it's the if it's the twenty win or the you know all star reward or the forty win or World Series reward. And the event also doesn't interest me either. What a catch! Tom Smith with the catch. And the way I, I like, you know, guys, I love this player, but that could be in like the next three ranked seasons. We'll just have to wait and see. Sorry. Ooh, my Piazza's been upgraded. Awesome. 92 overall. Hell yeah. Uh, Griffey is actually really close. Like, another 200 XP. 250 XP. He's he's up to tier 3, which would be the first card to do that. Uh, Dom Smith is close to tier 2, as is Roberto Almar. 6-0 is just mowing him down. And there, are, uh, and for BR, there are better rewards than Seaver. Okay, but here's the thing: I only care about Mets players. That's the point. I don't care about all the other rewards. I only care about the Mets because I know, I know eventually, I know eventually we are gonna get that. Um, I know eventually we're going to get, because that's all that interests me, is the Mets players. 
I'm a Mets fan. Can you do you see by the shirt? I I, I have no interest in Prince Fielder, Ryan Sandberg. You know, no interest. And plus, I know eventually we're going to get the 99 overalls. So what's the point of grinding BR right now and ranked seasons when we know down the line we're going to have a 99 overall? I know we're going to have a 99 overall Chipper Jones, so there's no point in me getting another third baseman. I know I'm going to have a 99 overall Alfonso Soriano from the collection. Mm, I, I really don't care. Again, Fielder is going to be out of date. He's going to be out of date as soon as the, not, the first 99 overall. Uh, yeah, you could. But I've not been able to accumulate uh, six, uh, nine or 12 wins. I haven't done that. I don't think I've even accumulated uh, like six wins. Oh, geez. Rockies are not. I'm not going to be able to attack the Rockies here. Shame. I, dude, I've tried. I have streams of me doing BR. There's a stream of me making multiple BR runs because I wanted to get Tom Seaver. That's when I had no stubs. That's when I had no stubs. You see how much I have in uh, right now? I could buy Seaver. I mean, he's, he's not expensive right now. I think he's like, let's see. Tom Seaver right now is 80,000. Yeah, so 80,000. I picked him up when he was 60,000. So if I were to sell Tom Seaver, I would make 20,000 subs. Or I would make like 85,000 subs. But I want to keep Seaver. Plus, also look at it like this. All right? If I save up enough, I could get my trout. I'm very close on Jacob the Grom. I mean, do I want to spend that much for him? No, not really. Because I know he's eventually going to go down, as is as is uh, Trout and all the other diamonds. All right, we're very close to um, we're very close with uh, the XP. Uh, I'm not interested in stealing any more fans. Ah, oh, crap. You're telling me that wasn't enough? Come on. Ah, uh, fine. I guess I'll take the Rockies on All-Star. Fine. It's not the worst thing in the world. Uh, who should I go with? I think I'm going to go with Aaron Nola. But I'm just, I'm just saying. I, I'm saving up for a Mets uh, for uh, for um, another Mets player. So we'll see what happens. But for right now, I don't. There, uh, there's no incentive for me to go online. I have Tom Seaver. No point in me doing BR, and there's no point in me doing uh, ranked seasons. I'm not interested in the rewards. Just not. And, and, maybe that's, maybe that's the downside to this whole XP, or, or this whole parallel XP that they put in the game, because I can earn as much XP playing offline as I would playing online. At least last year, when they had the prestige program, it was it was basically uh, you had to play online. So I can understand, 
you know, that... Oh, oh, no, 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 uh, no, 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 go back, go back, go back, Omar! Ah, god damn it. My own fault there. My own fault. I should have just sent him back immediately. Like, I don't know what the hell I was thinking when, uh... I don't know what the hell I was thinking when I decided to send him back, then send him home, then send him back, then send him home. Like, that indecisiveness pretty much cost me. I should have just gone right home. I should have just sent him right back to third. Come on, Griffey. Get there, get there, get there. Yes! Very good. Come on, Noah. Up and in fastball. Hit him hard. Strike three, sit down. So, you know, again, the whole parallel XP, yeah, it's a great idea. And I think it's something that everyone can do. We're all going to get the best cards, and that's exactly how it should be. The problem is, now you're taking away that incentive to play online. Now you're taking that away. Oh boy, Dom Smith is going to get thrown out here. Because I'm not being patient. Night, Jose. Come on, Judge. You've been good for me so far. And besides, you know, you, you can't say I haven't played online. I have. I've done BR, you know, I've done it multiple times, actually. But also, I get the option for the viewers to go ahead and, um... I get the option for viewers to challenge me. And some of my viewers are very good at the game. So, I enjoy that. I enjoy that they, that they make me really competitive. Or they force me to be really competitive. I uh, do not care... It's just ESPN alerting me to a, to a game that's starting. Not that I really care about it. So. Nice. Oh. We're going to send Jose in, in motion. Oh, Aaron Judge! Damn, I'm glad I pulled him out of a pack. He has been huge for me. You know, two home runs against one of my viewers in a game I think it was on Saturday. Or, no, no. Yeah, it was on Saturday. I remember, yeah. Because Judge hit two home runs in that game. Uh, I am going to get someone up and warming. Uh, let's get Chapman. Because you never know what story. He could end up uh, getting on base and then... Oh, uh, no. He's not going to get on base. 
still, this is a safe situation. Yep, showcase Aaron Judge's home run. Sorry, Nola. Pitched a good game. Exactly what we needed to happen. And unfortunately, because I started Chapman late, I have to now get them all warmed up. I'll give them one more pitch, just to be on the safe side. What I am hoping for in this uh, in this next inning program is we get another lefty uh, lefty bullpen arm. I need another lefty bullpen arm because right now it's Jose Alvarado, Matt Chap uh, Araldis Chapman, the rookie version, so the 79 overall, and Dan Plezak, the gold version. Come on, show, show us that fastball. Hell yeah. Batting six. The third baseman, Ryan McMahon. Come on, Chapman. There you go. Oh, jeez. Strike three, sit down. Uh, I think we're... He's 105 and 90. He's 95 and 102. Uh, we're gonna go with Cruz. Your attention, please. Big hit it. No. And get Jerry Reese up and warming so he can close out for the save here. Oh, something I should mention, guys, if I haven't done so already, I don't believe I have, but, um, if it is, this is just a little reminder. Um, Saturday there will likely be no stream because I am working in the city from like 8 to 4. So, I mean, yeah, I could do it later, but I don't know what I'm going to be doing that Saturday. I think I'm going to have, I, I think I'm going to try and have a second date with my, with my, uh, uh with that girl, uh, again, so... If we can work that, if we can work that out, I don't know if we can or can. Now that second baseman, Roberto Allen. Hold on, I just gotta pause it because I see that there. Well, there's a speck on my glasses that's uh, in my vision. There we go. Much better. I can see much better now. And Roberto Almar going to get a base hit here. Very good. But does anyone have, like, any ideas as to who the inning bosses might be? Like, uh-oh, I might get hosed here. Oh, I'm not. Wow. I thought I was going to be host, but I wasn't. Come 
Come on, Piazza. One more run and, well, you get an RBI. Oh, forget about one. How about get all three? Uh, how about that, my Piazza? Actually, hold on, I'm calling time. Calling time, and I'm actually going to throw in Ron Dibble. Or, I, I'm probably going to throw in Dibble. For one thing, I need the strikeouts with him. And for another thing, the the save is now completely off the table, so... And Dom Smith is just going to get an RBI right here. Or not an RBI, a double. I don't know what I'm saying. Is that going to get over his head? No. But it will advance uh, Don Smith to third. Alright Judge, you've already had one big home run here. How about another one? Get two, get two more RBIs. Or you can just ground out to third. I guess that's cool. Yep, Mike Piazza with the shot. And put in Rob Dibble. Ron, Rob Dibble. Thank you, Jerry. I'll keep you ready and waiting just in case Dibble ends up being in trouble here, but I don't suspect that. Although he has quite a... um. Slow delivery, something that is going to take time to get used to. Certainly not a Edwin Diaz as delivery or a Jerry Familia. Come on, Dibble. This guy last year was freaking dominant. His, uh, his diamond card, you know, got absolutely abused last year online. Like, people just, it was either him or Rob Nen that they abused, but it was, that's what made it so not fun to play online last year was that they would abuse guys like Rob Nen and um and uh Rob Dibble in order to you know in order to basically get strikeouts like it's kind of sickening that that's what we put up with last year and we should never have to put that uh, put up with that again. I get that fastballs are supposed to be hard, especially or hard to hit, especially if they're going over two over a hundred miles per hour. I get that, and I understand that. But like to to basically say that you can't hit it at all is nonsense. That's ludicrous. In fact, I would I would imagine that a lot of home runs come off of fast balls. All right, Roberto Alomar. He was upgraded. 
Yeah, there we go. Um, so Almar is now a 91, if I'm not mistaken. Dom Smith getting close. Uh, Aaron Noah is close. Griffey is close. So, yeah, there we go. Nothing too hard. Rocky's already down in less than one turn. Well, actually, it took a couple turns. I shouldn't... I should be more clear. Hold on. Now I believe I have enough... Uh, I've had enough XP. Yep. I am now at 590,000, which means I unlocked the choice pack or the space one pack. So let's go ahead and open that up. I got me the basic ground. See, this is getting the basic ground is exactly why I didn't want to, um, why I didn't want to go for, uh, it's exactly why I didn't want to buy this pack. Basically. Uh, there's no point in me getting uh, Liberator. Or, uh, there's no point in me getting the Cardinals starting pitcher. Because he's never going to start for me. Actually, none of these guys. No, wait. Actually, Kenley Jansen would start for me. But that would mean I'd have to take out... Uh, Rob Dibble. We'll just go with the Phillies. Oh, actually, we'll go ahead and open that show pack, too, because who really cares? Yeah, nothing. The only thing, the only thing that's new in this pack is this free agent card. And this. All right, let me go ahead. Let me go to the managed squad. Bye-bye, Dibble. Thanks for your thanks for your help in this one. But I'm going to go with I'm going to go with Jansen. Now, I know a lot of you are probably wondering as to why I'm not going for the Twins or the Royals or the Cubs or anything like that. Well, for right now, I just want to build up my uh, the territories that I have. That's what you ultimately want to do is you want to build up this. You want to have your territory so that that way you can have more fans. And it's much easier at this point in the game to go ahead and start collecting the unclaimed territory. So this is probably the easier point in the game to go ahead and do this. Nice, 500 XP. Actually, since I'm, since I'm here, 
since I'm already close to the Seattle Mariners, I guess I might as well go for them. I mean, my intention at all was to go down to Arizona, then make then make my way west, and then go after and then go all the way up. But since I'm here, and since I believe that I can. Uh, do I really want to take a risk there? Cool. Now, as long as no other, ter uh, no other territory or really. All right, fine. I'll play on. I'll play on All Star. That's fine. Uh, nice. Let's go, Mitch. Just picked up a Byron Buxton. Have a show pack. Very good for him. Happy for him. All right. Let's see who we're going up. Actually, though, a lefty. Yep. All right, let's get the Mariners. Let's get the Mariners uh, stronghold. Actually, the last time I tried to take a stronghold from the Seattle Mariners, it ended up uh, not. It ended up not being not happening for my team. I think. Uh, what was it for? It was. It was one of those maps. Might have been one of the first inning maps. And maybe this is how I was, how they were able to hold me off. Ah, Giambi, damn it. All right. Leading up for the Mariners, the second baseman, Sam Hallwan Milford Haggerty. Because I'm not being patient at the plate, and right now I'm throwing really terrible pitches. That changeup should have never been down the middle. And it was. Strike three, sit down. Batting second, the right fielder. Jake inside, Oh, uh, yeah, key safe. Too much speed. That, is good. that means I'm going to have to keep an eye. Oh, come on, Um, You're not giving me anything close on the bottom. I tried. I saw he was, he was fixing himself. So I thought that might have been my best chance. Strike three, sit down. The third baseman, Kyle Seeger. Yes, I know I shouldn't be worried about him with two outs and everything. I get that. But it, it, it's got to be clear that I'm watching him. You never know if that stone base could be all of a sudden a momentum shifter. And now they get one base hit, and he's scoring, and all of a sudden it's a one to nothing game. 
Thank God they didn't call that. A stri they didn't call that a swinging strike. Get through! Hell yeah, my piazza. Return, Piazza, return. Come on, Jose. Fly out to Kyle Lewis, really? Alright, looks like I'm relying on Judge again. And he's not going to come through for me this time. Leading up for the Mariners, the left fielder, Mitch. Henniger. There are way too many fastballs in that at bat. Thankfully, he didn't. Uh, he didn't. Um. Thankfully, he didn't take advantage of that, but you throw a fastball that many times in a bat consecutively, I much imagine they eventually, the CPU is not, or the AI is not stupid. They eventually pick up on it. Come on, 6 I need you to just make it through this inning. Make it through, we'll get you out of there. Strike three, sit down. Let's go. Uh, let's see. Well, let's give Jackson a shot. Since, uh, wait. Should also warm up Familia. Kind of not thinking about that at the time. Safe! He was safe! Oh my god, he was so safe. Ladies and gentlemen. All right, good change up. Middle in. Is that going to be enough? Is it out of here? It is! Nelson Cruz! KJ home run! Good. Now, now I can bring in Familia to go ahead and close this game out. Uh, Sheffield's nervous. He missed completely outside on all four pitches. Great. Uh, 
Chop, chop. No. Hmm. Sorry, I was just I was just laughing um, about this tweet that MLB the Show community just sent out. They were uh, they were telling everyone how great it was that uh, they that they were creating all these stadiums and sharing them with the community and everything. <laughs> They referred to one that had cows stacked up in place of an outfield wall. I mean, that's uh, like, I'll give them props. I would have never have thought of that. In fact, I never thought of that. You guys all might know my stadium by now. I, you know, if you haven't, there was, there's a stream that I did. It's up on YouTube. I don't know if it's still up here in um, here up on Twitch but it is up on YouTube uh, it should be labeled create a stadium strike three sit down so if you want to go check out what my stadium looks like you know you could go right there and check it out at a boy judge Second baseman. Ben. On one Haggerty. No, that's down. Got him. And that's game. Sixto Sanchez gets the win. Unfortunately, Piazza and Nelson Cruz pinch a home run. Was the only were the only hits for us, but regardless, we took the win, we took the stronghold, and I'll take that. Nelson, okay, look at that. I didn't even realize that Cruz could be was close to upgrade. I I, I didn't know that. Did we not just open this already? I mean, if they give me another one, I, I'm not going to object to that, but I'm pretty sure, yeah, they're just being delayed. Thanks. Thanks for misleading me, MLB The Show. I, you know, I really appreciate that. I really appreciate being misled. Oh, and uh, Twitch Designer, thank you for the like on Twitter. I appreciate it. Thank you. All right, well, I'm not going to attack any further, so... Hold on, I'm going to put some extra fans there, and I should also put some extra fans on my stronghold as well, you know, just so that these guys don't get the idea that, hey, let's go attack. You know what? I think I'm going to go for the ace next. I don't think I'm going to attack him uh, now. I, I think I'm going to, you know, I'm going to wait. Yeah, I'm definitely waiting. Yeah, 
this is, this game is gonna be on veteran. There's no doubt about it. Hell yeah! Finally, first game I get to play on veteran. Uh, you know what? Let's give Tom Seaver the uh, the shot. Although I'm probably going up against Jesus Lazardo. Oh no, I w I'm going up against Chris Bassett. All right. I'm all good with le uh, with righties. Just remember, there's a there's gonna be a uh, a point in the game where we're gonna get 99s uh, 99 overalls, and they're gonna be at the bottom of our lineup, and then we could just go ahead and pitch with them. So I'm very much looking forward to that when that happens. Ooh, it's Almar gonna go, go, go. Nope, not gonna advance him to home. <laughs> Excuse me. Or third. At least for Almar. Oh, good pitch. Same. See, sometimes that's all you need to do. That's fundamental baseball right there. Or actually, that's situational baseball. That's no, knowing that all we really needed to do was just get a pop, a pop fly to center or to the outfield, and we would have a chance. And of course, Piazza ones up, uh, one ups it by by uh, grounding one past the third baseman. But Don Smith is just going to ground into a double play. How disappointing. All right, Seaver, what do you got for us? The center fielder, number 22. All ones account. Strike three, sit down. Strikes out the first batter of the game. Hell yeah. Batting second. The right fielder. Well, for the A's anyway. First batter of the game for the A's. Strike three, sit down. Back to back strikeouts for Tom Seaver. This is why he's a 92. Take him out after such a performance, too. Such a great job there by uh, by Seaver. But a safe situation is a safe situation. Plus, last year I didn't do too hot with Seaver. Uh, his 99 overall just didn't work for me. 
which is ironic because that's for one thing that's a that was a Mets pitcher, and for another thing, like it was a 99 overall. Like the fact that it was not. The fact that it wasn't, or the fact that I was struggling with the 99 overall, it's pretty sad. And home run by Aaron Judge. Well... This is just in case uh, Griffey ends up driving in Story. If Story manages to get to second, he does. Great. to show bros I'm 25 just turned 25 actually ah come on Griffey had an opportunity for a uh, had an opportunity there for an RBI and you blow it you absolutely blow it Yeah, what, uh, why? W were you. Why? Is there something wrong? Strike three, sit out. Four straight strikeouts between Seaver and Jansen. The left field. All ones account miss. More left. Strike three, sit down, make it five straight. Batting six. Not short the A's might have just been better off not even coming to the uh, up to the plate. Uh, two seamer. Okay, that's gonna have to work. Three, sit, or rather strike one, two, three, sit down. Back to back innings of striking out the side. All right, I'm gonna get, I'm gonna get Familia up and warming. Woo! And Almar's gonna drill one up the middle for a big hit. Very nice. What's up, Ty Cap? How you doing tonight? FNG, what's up? Ah, uh, Jason Giambi, you're breaking my balls, man. Why are you mad at F at Mega? Why? What do you do? The batter, the catcher, Mike. He ate your pizza? Man, FNG, don't you know anything about a man's pizza? You can't eat that sh You can't eat that sh Get your own pizza. Would have been even worse if it was New Jersey pizza. That sh you don't steal from another man.
Do you at least buy you another pizza? It was New York pizza? Uh, buy another one to eat with that one too? Jesus Christ! Fatty Daddy, one, two, three, four, five. Hello? How are you today? Welcome to the stream. Appreciate appreciate you being here. Alright, Familia, come on in. Uh well, that was the plan pre-pandemic. In fact, actually, before the pandemic broke out, I was going to the gym. I was building up muscle. My co-worker and my co-worker was had gotten me on a program and everything, and I was losing weight. I actually had lost 16 pounds over uh, over over um, a couple months, uh, and not only that, but I was starting to fit into a lot of my uh, older shirts, like. If I got, if I got, uh, I probably have it somewhere over here. Thank, uh, thanks. I appreciate that. Hold on. I just want to show the shirt that I was, I was working hard to get back into. It's a little... It's a little wrinkled. I know, but I, I really want to get back to the gym that I was at. So this is the shirt that I wanted to get back into. Right now it's a uh, extra large. So I know, but it was very hard once the pandemic hit to keep it up. But that shirt, I was actually very close to fitting back in. I bet you if if there was no pandemic and it was May, I would have been wearing that shirt to Met Games. I was very excited. And then of course pandemic hit and there goes all that weight, all that hard work that I just spent the last couple months um, working off and lost it all. Do you work out, Fat Daddy? And the A stronghold is mine, by the way. I probably didn't say strike three. Sit down, because I think that was the strikeout, so. No, but I appreciate you, you know, telling me that I should. Uh, I know I should. It's all good. Sunday, I, have a I had a baseball tournament, and we played the number two in Maryland and lost to a walk. Lost on a walk-off and lost six to five. I'm sorry to hear that, the show bros. I'm sorry. But, hey, you played the number two team in Maryland. And the fact that you guys were still competing with uh, with them um, at that point is is very impressive. You guys ought to be proud of that. You know, you, you got to find a silver lining in every loss. You scored five runs against one uh, one of the top teams in in Maryland. So, did you at least get a hit? Thank you, Fat Daddy, for the follow. Appreciate it. And that's not being sarcastic. Thank you. 
You're on the number two Mar uh, You're no on the number two team in Maryland, FNG. Yeah, true. And they said that's the closest game. Yes, you did get it. You did get a hit and pitch. There you go. Wait, the shell bros. Did you strike anyone out? Did you uh, did you strike anyone out while you were pitching? You got a hit, but you did not pitch. Oh, you did? Good job. Good job, man. Strike three, sit out, Freya. How about that? Give you a little strike three, sit out right there. You had a doctor's appointment. FG, are you? Uh, I, I'm assuming that if you're, uh, are you? What? Oh, okay. This is a conversation. Okay, I'm gonna let that play out while I try to focus on, you know, this game right here. Second baseman, Jonathan Solano. I'm, I'm just going to stay out of this conversation that's uh, currently going on. Come on, 6 0. Let's get a strike out here. Or we could get a pop out. Or fly out, rather. That is good. The white field. No, nope, I said I would I said I would stay out of this. Come on, six so. Strike three, sit down. I said I'm staying out of this. Besides, you really want me to be the coach? We're going to be called the Mets. And the requirement, well, you have to watch every... If you're going to be on the team, you have to... If you're going to be on the team, you're going to have to watch every single Mets game. Oh, Jose. Yeah, Jose with the home run. Gave you a round of applause, said I was one of the best pitchers they faced. Nice, man. That's huge. The RBA Royals. Oh, 
Well, why are you pulling a Mark Sanchez? Shouldn't be doing that. Come on. Wow. Well, that's not good. You don't want to eat a whole buffet. You don't want to do that. Also, why didn't I get a reliever warming? Well, that's even worse. Oh jeez. I knew I should have brought in a reliever. Roman Quinn, Roman Quinn, three game inning streak. Hey, sometimes it just takes players a little while for them to get going. You don't, you never know. You never know. Get their six though. Ah, uh, so close. Strike three, sit out. Yeah, I definitely should have gotten someone up and warming. Yes, I realize that he's getting tired. Try three, sit down. That is seven. The third baseman, Evan Longoria. Let's go. Yeah, we'll go McMahon. Hold on. Sorry, Jensen, you guys said we're taking Jerry, uh, we're bringing in Jerry's. Oh, did McMahon just crank one? Uh, it might be off the wall. There you go, Griffey. It's all you needed. Sack fly gives us the 2 nothing lead. Let's go. This is all for the giant stronghold. Nice, Roberto. Now we got Giambi up. Cool. Oh, that, that's going in the bay. Unfortunately, it's not, uh, it's not fair. Ray, worried about Roberto, huh?
Hold on here. Hold on, hold on. I'm just uh, replying to someone in the... Uh, in the Discord, so give me one second. Okay, sorry about that. Atta boy, Piazza! They were so deep on Piazza that it easily allowed Alomar to go ahead and get up to third. Ugh. These check swings, man, they're disgusting. You're better off either determining if you're gonna swing or if you're just gonna, if you're not gonna swing. Wow, just like with, just like with Piazza, they play, the outfield plays deep for, for Dom Smith, and that allows Piazza to, to get to third. Your attention, please. Now, At a boy's story. Come on. Inside slider? Nah, not gonna get him. Boy, oh boy, oh boy. Strike three, sit down. Atta boy, Familia. And that's game. So we take we've taken a lot of strongholds already, two and uh, two NL East and two uh, or excuse me, two AL West and two NL West. So far is what I've got on the U.S. Uh, Nation of Baseball map. Ah, uh, Dom Smith is up to tier two. Unfortunately, it doesn't go up another overall, but that's okay. Uh, let's see, Griffey, he's closing in on Tier 3. And next up would be Aaron Judge getting to Tier 2. Ooh, 1,000 XP, nice. Alright, I'm thinking I'm going to go this way. And just get a lot of the, a lot of the territories. Again, that's that's the that's the other way you win this game is by getting all these territories so that you can build up your fan base. It's very important. So make sure that that's why I say usually when I do this map, I'm going to the west coast first. I want to get to the West Coast. I want to take it over. That way, when I head out east to the Mets and the Yankees and the Blue Jays and everything, you know, that way I have, um, 
That way I have a lot of fans to be able to challenge those teams with uh, with high fan overalls or high number of fans. I mean, right now everyone's just 10, 10, which is odd because in years past, in years past, the Yankees would have like 20 million. It, it, so it's kind of strange to see that they're only at 10 like the rest of us. Or, well, like the rest of the teams. Very interesting. So I think I think the um, I think the Dodgers would probably be next since they're the next ones up. Uh, you know I haven't really made that determination yet, but that that looks to be the way that I'm heading. Yep. All right, Dodgers are next. Ooh, look at that. The San Diego Padres took over the Angels' stronghold. Okay. Okay. Nice. I don't have to steal any more fans, do I? Oh, I got to steal seven more. All right. Well, I've got plenty of time to do that. And plus, the reward is Walter Johnson. Which, unfortunately, this is not the 99 overall Walter Johnson from last year. If you guys remember remember that. That was... <laughs> oh, man. That was not fun, let me tell you. Albert Pujols, very nice. All right, let's go. Dodgers. I think I'm going to go, uh, should I go? Yeah, I should go Kershaw. I should go Kershaw because I'm going up against Muncie and Bellinger and Betts, and they all hit righties very well. And Seager, too. I forgot about Seager. Yeah. Oh, look at that. It's the, uh, it's Kershaw versus Kershaw. What's the daily moment? So, the daily moment, I uh, what was it? It was like, oh, it was get a base hit with Albert Pujols. And that netted you too. So, the, if you've done every daily moment since uh, May started, then, um then you should have already gotten the Jason Giambi card again. Come on, Kershaw. Dodgers Kershaw has nothing. My Kershaw will have something. And retweets Twitch. Thank you for retweeting my tweet. Uh, I just saw that now, so I apologize if that happened uh, earlier. And I missed it. Just not really focusing on Twitter at this point. Trying not to see how bad my Mets are going to be doing. Because Lord knows right now they're terrible. Is that going to be enough? Can I get out of here? No, that's going to be a deep fly ball to, to Mookie Betts. Of course. Leading up for the Dodgers, the right fielder, Mookie. Out of boy, what a play, Jose. Good job. I told y'all my Kershaw has something. 
over. He'll even and he'll prove it even more just by getting a strikeout at some point. Ah, what an effort there by Almar, but just missed it. Nice. Fastball up and in. My favorite pitch. Not online, that is. Not online. Just when I'm playing against the CPU. Because I hate those players that do that. Strike three, sit down. Oh, he's late. He's late. He's safe. God damn it. God dang it. It's all right. It's all good. Let's just strike out Bellinger and, we'll go and we got this. Strike three. Sit down. Come on, Piazza. You feed off of left-handed pitchers. What did I just say? What did I just say? Hell yeah, Mike Piazza. It's out of here. And Dom Smith, uh, yeah, he's going to be good. Jose? Nah. Pulled it way too early. Shoot. Nope. Come on, Ho uh, come on. Jose? Is that going to get out of here? I'm thinking it will. It is! Home run! It's out of here! Jose Ramirez. What an absolute beast. Aaron Judge, one more to say. What an inning this is for my team right now. Piazza, Ramirez, Judge, all home runs. I can actually let Kershaw go ahead and finish out this game for right now because he's, uh, it's only, he's got a four run lead. There's no point in me bringing in a relief pitcher. So continue on, Kershaw. It's Kershaw versus Kershaw, the matchup of the century. And Kershaw's going to ground out. Is Griffey getting in on this home run action? Holy cow, he is! Atta boy, Griffey. 29th home run. God damn, I've used him a lot. Which is unfortunate because once I get Trout and once I get Soriano, I'm not going to really use Griffey. Okay, Turner is a little bit of a problem when it comes to lefties, so I got to pitch him carefully. Very nice. Now Muncie has still got some pop uh, with with against lefties, but it's not as bad as it would be if he were going up against righties. There should they should make a map um, 
later on in the game, like when nobody, when, once the season's over and everything, they should make a map of all the of all the cards that a team that a team has. So like uh, that Muncie that I just went up against, rather than it being his gold card, let it be the forty two series card. You know, make it like the Nation of Baseball, or make it like the Team Affinity maps. Strike three, sit down. You know, and just have the have the um, have the players to, uh, or have the Giambi. Uh, Okay, he's going to get a double out of this. And that's all he's going to get, because he has 27 speed. I'm shocked that they're going to... Okay, there we go. Never mind. They just brought in another lefty in David Price. Uh, too bad. Come on, Piazza. One home run? That's all you got to show for in this game? Dang, man. What say you, Jose? Yeah, I knew he was going to get thrown out. It's all right. It's all good. Come on, Kershaw. Let's finish this out. You know, the one thing I never did, I never did today, and now I'm kind of starting to realize it, I never really opened up my window. It is hot as hell. In here right now. I've got my laptop going. I've got my TV, my PlayStation 5. There's a lot of heat being produced in this room right now from the electronics. And, phew, I could really use some fresh air. Come on, Kershaw. Uh, you're seriously going to let Pollock sneak one past you? Really? Yeah, he's safe. Also, I never got Familia up and warming either. I meant to. I meant to in the last inning, but I completely forgot here, so now I kind of have to roll with Kershaw. And just make sure that they don't go home. I don't suspect that the CPU would do that, but you never know. They could have given some kind of code for the CPU to imitate uh, imitate online players because some online players will actually do that just take just take home on you after you throw you throw out a uh, after you th throw out uh, throw someone out at first uh, strike three sit down game over Clayton Kershaw and the Dodgers stronghold is mine I mean what a hell of a game this was Four four home runs, one by Jose Ramirez, one by Ken Griffey Jr., one by Piazza, and one by Aaron Judge. Clint Kershaw with six strikeouts on the in the game, as well as a complete game shutout. Not enough to be able to upgrade him. Now I still need a little bit more. Although Griffey's close, we're close on Griffey. 
Very close. I have, I have a feeling we're going to get into Tier 3 at some point tonight. Uh, I wouldn't... <sighs> See, I don't want to... I don't want to go over here because then I'm leaving this territory open to go ahead and attack and reclaim it. So I don't want to do that. And same thing with this side. I don't want to... Uh, if only if I had another territory that I could attack with and not feel bad if I do. Maybe. Maybe. Okay. I'm hopeful. I'm hopeful that the Dodgers are going to attack. Yes! <laughs> I knew it! I knew they would. I knew it. I knew it. I knew it. They could go ahead and have that territory. They made a dumbass mistake. A very, very dumbass mistake. Padres, not so much. They're actually being smart. Threw me away from their from their uh, from their stronghold, but now it's wide open. This is actually this is actually the Angels stronghold. I should I should point that out that this is the Angels stronghold, not the Padres. All right, I'm going to go with Aaron Nola on this one. Blake Snell. Ah, oh, shit. <sighs> Fine. Whatever. Come on, Alomar. That's right. Force, force now to really throw pitches. Make him work. Hell yeah. Uh, that might get thrown. Uh, might get me thrown out. It's not. I don't know how that was, but. Thank God the throw was offline. Uh. All right, Piazza's got to drive him in here. Come on, Piazza. Come on, man. Get a player in scoring position and we can't even drive him in. Sorry, I can't see the bottom of my screen. Strike three, sit down. But I can't see it because in order for the for the camera to be looking at me at this at this height, I had to stock or stock some uh, some items underneath it in order to be able to make sure that you can see me and you're not just looking at like my chest or my stomach or whatever. So I can't really see the bottom part of the screen, and that's especially frustrating when I have to do this and I don't know which pitch is which strike three sit down 
I mean, does it bother me too badly? No, not really. But, it is rather annoying. Strike three, sit down. Uh, yeah, let's get Chanson up and warming. Oh, that would if that were fair, if that were fair, that would have been a nice hit. But that's not a nice hit. Come on, Jose. Get through, get through. Oh, of course not. What am I thinking? This is Fernando Tatis Jr. Dude's a freaking stud. Exactly where I wanted it. Uh, is that going to get over his head? Hell yeah, it is. Let's go. Good job. Good job, Aaron Judge. Now it's up to Trevor's story. The shortstop, Trevor. Nope, get back, get back. Oh, they think that's fair. Hell yeah, that's fair. Barely. I think that was barely. It was like this close. Uh, let's go ahead and bring in Nelson Cruz. Ah. Nelson, you disappoint me, man. You disappoint me. Alright, let's get Jansen in here. I'm not happy with just one run. I want multiple runs. But we got a lead, so I guess that's all I can really ask for. Once again, could not see. That is good. The right field. We're on fire. Come on, Jansen. You got this. You got this. Strike three. Stay down. That is the catcher. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Just show bros. Thanks. Did you especially laugh when my uh, my cameraman called me a geek right behind? Uh, oh, oh under his breath so that I couldn't hear it while I was uh while I was um 
explaining Newton's three laws of motion. <laughs> I I know I should be kind of upset with him that he did that, but I I have to laugh on uh, laugh at it because he did. A <laughs> he uh, he did a good job not to not to make me hear that. Plus, I ended up getting an A on that project anyway. Yeah, he's my neighbor. He, he lives right next door to me. I mean, I haven't talked, I haven't spoken to him for a while, but, um... <laughs> but, uh, yeah, I'm still friends with him. At the end of the day, that, that video just got me the A, that's all I care about. That was, if you really, if you really want to be, like, if you really want to know how long that, how long ago that video was made, that was 10 years ago. Actually, it was less, it was over that. that it might have been like 11 or 12 years ago. Because I did that, I believe, when I was 13. And I did that, if you, <laughs> if you really want to be surprised at the kind of, time period it was, I did that on an iPod Touch, or an iPod. If you could believe that. There was a time where iPods were also video cameras. You know, they're not like phones today, where phones can just pretty much do everything. No, this is an iPod. Great, now I feel old. Uh. Oh wait, I I, uh, I never got. Um. All right. I guess Chanson's just gonna try to save this one. Strike three. Sit down. You know, I I actually have to wonder, um I I wonder uh how my um how my franchise mode video is coming along. Is that all okay, it's being processed. Alright. Yep, well um yeah the show bros. A lot of my streams just ended up there. Uh, I have my Madden franchise mode streams that were there, that are there. Um, I also have the Let's Play of Far Cry 5 up there as well. Uh, I really don't play my team anymore because I just realized it was silly. And now it's all just MLB The Show 21. Whether it be Franchise Mode or Diamond Dynasty. Mostly Diamond Dynasty, but... Ooh, Griffey is close. Griffey is close. Let's get after it, Griffey. Let's get it. Okay. I think... And go down and attack the Padres stronghold. Mm. I'm going to have to do it on All-Star, though. That's fine. I'm okay with it being on All-Star. Well, I certainly don't want to... I don't want to put a lefty, so Kershaw and Corbin are out. Maybe I'll go with Seaver on this one.
Come on, Griffey. Oh, they're gonna give him that strike. Come on, there was a time. There was a time earlier in this stream where I didn't get those low strikes. I feel like I'm getting robbed here. First time I've had to do that. Oh, excuse me. Mm. Oh, I got fooled. I got fooled. Nice job, Almar. What do you think? You think I should steal? I think I should. I did the side pitch. Thank God. Thank God, Nola um, threw it way too high. Because otherwise, I think uh, Almar was gunned. Sure, they're gonna get hit. At least that's going to be, if we could catch it, thank God. It seems like they also addressed, I don't know if this was going for anyone else, but like for me, there was a, there was, when I was playing games, sometimes my outfielders would overthrow it. And it's like, I know Judge is supposed to have a good arm, as is Griffey, and um, and I don't know about Dom Smith, but but I know they're supposed to have decent arms, but I wasn't expecting them to overthrow by so much. It's crazy. So I I I hope that no one else had to deal with it like I had to deal with it. But overall, it seems like they've addressed that issue. At least I hope so. 
because I don't, that shouldn't be, it, it, it can happen, I'm not saying it can't happen, I'm just saying it shouldn't happen as often as it did. Like, all my fielder, uh, all my outfielders were over throwing like crazy. They were not accurate. They, they would just overthrow their intended target for some reason. Wouldn't make sense. Yeah, that's gonna be caught. Uh, just shy. I needed the wind to blow it further, further out that way, so that it could be a home run. Oh boy, my team is really struggling here. I mean, I expected that considering that this is on All-Star, but this is not good. I mean, maybe I can finish up the NL West before tonight's stream is over. I, I'm, that's certainly an accomplish, accomplish, that's one that can be accomplished. After all, I think I am going to push this screen to uh, 9.15. Since I got started late. I got started at like 6.30. So, you know, right now it's only 8.40. So... I, I I don't know. We'll see. We'll see what happens. And Trevor Story grounds out. Great. The first baseman, Aaron Cosmo. Nice. If we can't score runs, they shouldn't score runs. The right fielder, Will. It's actually um, funny, guys. Now that I think about this, um, I don't know if y'all uh, ever wondered what it would be like if um, if, it, if you managed to bat around with the extra innings rule. I mean, in a regular game, that wouldn't that wouldn't matter. Like. You know, or, or if you had a runner on base and you ended up batting around, you know, then what would happen to that runner if his spot came up to bat and everything? It wouldn't happen in in an extra innings rule uh, game, but I did find out that it could happen in showdown, particularly the final showdown. Well, final showdown slash whatever showdown there is. Strike three, sit down. All right, we're gonna get Ryan McMahon up. Your attention, please.
No, McMahon! Even McMahon is not working out for me? Jesus! Oh, that was the pitch. If I had just stayed later on it, maybe that would have been a home run. But at least that's a base hit. Uh, of course they bring in the lefty. They're going to play the matchup. Okay, all right, fine, fine. Yeah, that's a strike. I probably wouldn't have gotten that call my way, but if I was pitching, but fine, I guess I can let it be for the AI. You know what? I'm okay with this. I No! God damn it, no! No, why couldn't that be like a double play? Because now if Giambi does nothing, like I expect him to, then he's going to be our runner for, for extra innings. I don't want that. Giambi's got no speed. Foul ball. Yep, that's exactly what they were looking for. And he robbed me! He robbed! God dang it! Alright, Jansen, come on down. I was hoping to bring in Familia, but it looks like I'm going to have to rely on the extra innings rule to do it. You know, assuming that we keep, we hold them to basically nothing. Oh, that was a changeup? Oh, I thought that was a fastball. Wow. No wonder why it looks so different. Well, the bright side is at least that won't be the leadoff runner for for them in the in extra innings. Safe. Looks like we're already getting a taste of the extra innings rule right here. Alright. Come on, Piazza, drive in drive in Giambi so that we can we can end this game. Damn you, Piazza, come on! Should have moved my PCI up. I knew I should have. The left field, Perfect. Good job, Don Smith. 
Now, if only the real life you would actually follow through on those RBIs more often. Because the Mets need it. Nope, I'm not going to second. It's most unfortunate that uh, Dom decided to hold up. Maybe he could have gotten to home. Maybe he could have gone home. I don't know. They're really worried about Jose Ramirez stealing? Come on now. Oh, shit. You know what I just realized? I just realized who's the first batter that I'm going to have to face in the next inning. Fernando Tatis Jr. Oh, crap. And then to follow him, it's Manny Machado! Hooray! Which, to put, the, uh, to put this simply, there's a... There is a chance I could st still lose this game if I don't get two runs here. Or if I don't get two runs in this inning. I've already gotten one. I need the second. And that second one is standing on third right now. Oh, alright. Come on in, Familia. It's okay to rely on this familia. This familia is uh, it's the one from 2016 when he had like 50 saves, over 50 saves. Now Third All right, now I can't give up a hit. And of course I gotta go up against Eric Cosmer. Good thing he's slow. Hell yeah, let's go! By the grit of our teeth, we got that one. Close, how closer, how much closer? Okay, so probably one more game for Griffey ought to be uh, enough to be able to get him to Tier 3. That will be my first Tier 3 uh, player, Griffey. So that's kind of cool. That's cool. I'm just really shocked that the Minnesota Twins have not tried to, to attack my stronghold. Hey, there you go, Ty Cap. You just got JT Real Muto. Nice. At a boy, Ty. Ooh, got a show back. Uh, I don't think I'm going to go any further. A lot of territories here to claim. I'm gonna be very busy uh, after I get after I get the Diamondbacks. Oh no, that's not what I want to see. Oh good! They just opened up a great. Uh, they just opened up a great opportunity for me to go ahead and not waste fans. All right, we're taking on the D-backs on veteran. I like it. Uh, we're gonna need the. 
we're close because this is June in um this is June in Arizona. That is not a lot of fun. Luke Weaver is who we're going up against. All right, so Griffey needs at least two more plate appearances to be able to make it to Tier 3. So that's what the goal is. Two plate appearances for Griffey. Ew. Ah, I dropped the PCI again. My bad. Nope. Fair ball. I was hoping that would have been a foul ball, but it was fair. Damn it. And Roberto Almar, because I freaking dropped the PCI again. I have a very bad tendency of doing that. Very bad. Ew. And of course I chased that one when I shouldn't have. Alright, a one, two, three inning. Good for the Diamondbacks. Bad for me, but good for them. Leading up for the Diamondbacks. The second baseman, Tim Love Castro. Strike three, sit down. That exception, the shortstop, Nick Ahmed. Oh, jeez. That is good. The center fielder. That boy six though. Strike three, sit down. I'm not going to be so quick to go after your pitches, Weaver. Ooh, Piazza. Piazza got one. It's out of here. So now Griffey is at least guaranteed another at bat. Uh, let's see. Yeah, let's go lefty. Let's go Chapman. Ooh, damn, Dom Smith. That's getting over that wall. Hell yeah, over the yellow line for a home run. Back-to-back -back jacks. And Jose Ramirez is going to tack on here. Back-to-back-to-back -to -back -to -back jacks. And Aaron Judge make it four in a row. Oh, 
Uh, if that's fair, it's gone. It's gone! Four home runs in a row. Oh, I was about to say, maybe Trevor Story can make it five in a row. And that's probably where it would end, because the next, um, the next batter is the pitcher. Doesn't matter anyway, Trevor Story just gets a base hit here, so. Nope, not going to change pitchers. Just going to bunt Story over to second. And he's going to be safe. Because Escobar was a dumbass. A 100% a dumbass. Ah, uh, double play. No. Griffey, come on, man. I mean, glad you got your your second plate appearance, so that means you're going to be Tier 3. First one, by the way, for my team, so Ken Griffey Jr., congratulations. Speaking of dumbass, here he is. Strike three, sit down. If you need more evidence of a dumbass, there you go. No, I'm just kidding. I'm sure Eduardo Escobar is truly smart in person. But the game just made him look like a fool twice. The first baseman. Strike three, sit down. Giambi! He's getting in on the home run, home run action. Your attention, please. Yeah, they determined that was enough. That was enough. Weaver gave up five solo shots. It's time to call it a game for him. Just not a good game for Weaver at all. He just went up against a really good team. There you go, Dom. There you go. Oh, are they seriously going to let the center fielder get this? Then I'm going to third. I don't care. That was the mistake. They should have let the left fielder get that. Maybe they could have helped me at 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 third. Now because of that, I'm getting an additional run. So nice. Bad fielding decisions made by the AI gives me a six to nothing lead. Aaron Judge. Now that the short side. Trevor Stewart. 
I can appreciate the the Diamondbacks uh, fan base trying to be enthusiastic despite being despite being down six to nothing. Woo! What a shot! Quick reaction there. That's all I can say. Giambi's home run, of course. Uh, avoid the music here because I don't want to get copyrighted. For the Diamondbacks, the right fielder, Cole Calhoun. Again, I can appreciate the enthusiasm from the D backs faithful. But I think you're gonna have to cut your losses here. Actually, if I if I'm not mistaken, hold on. Wow. Alright, this is a special game. Sixto Sanchez is going for a complete game conquest no hitter. A complete conquest game no hitter. Let's get it, six so one ball, two strikes. Oh, Three, sit down. There we go. Put it in the books. Do I live on Long Island? No. No. I went to college out there, but I do not live in Long Island. I just, I just went to Hofstra University. I actually live in New Jersey. There we go. Griffey becomes my, becomes my first tier three player. And Aaron Judge becomes tier two. Very nice. A 93 overall. That is insane. You have a beach house out there? Uh, what town? Maybe I know about Maybe I know it. I didn't really get to go out much while I lived on Long Island, but maybe I might have heard the town. Greenport? Yeah, no, I don't hear, I've never heard of that. Is that like near Jones Beach? Uh oh. No? Okay, then that's probably why I've never heard of it. Is there a nice is there a nice beach uh is there a nice beach house? I mean I much imagine that a lot of the beach houses that are in Long Island are are pretty nice. Because I had a couple friends who did live, um, who did live in the, like, on the, 
along the coast. So they had, uh, there were some very nice beach houses along there. All right. I think that's first. First, I have to. Um, well, I ought to check out my progress for. Oh man. A couple more XP, and I could have gotten 10 show packs. Maybe that's how I could have ended this, uh, ended the stream off with uh, by opening a couple of show packs. Uh, let's see. Who could we use? I guess it really doesn't matter, so I'll just go... I'll just go with the highest rated pit, uh, prospect here, Hunter Bishop. Come on, no diamond there. Nope, no diamond there either. All right, all right. Who knows? Maybe I'll maybe I'll find some uh, some XP somewhere around here on the map and everything. Still got this whole West Coast to try and get. All right. Uh. Yeah, we're going to go over here, and then there, and we're just going to try and get as many territories as we can. Again, I want to go as, uh, as long as I can here, so, but this might be my last um, turn, and then I'll call it a, I'll call it a, um, a stream. You go until there's nothing left, basically. Which may be soon here. Yeah, I think that's where I'm going to stop. Uh, actually, I'll give it one more turn. I'll give it one more turn. Like I said, just keep going until there's nothing left. Got plenty of time here.
I guess the Rangers really didn't want to wait. They just want the territories and they want them now. They know I'm coming. They know it. But at this point, you're just they're just delaying the inevitable. God, and my dog is going crazy outside. Nice! We got another show pack. I'll take that. All right, one more territory, and then that ought to be, that ought to be it. Okay, maybe one more. Maybe one more. It's like an addiction. Gotta have one more. Sorry, that's a terrible joke. I apologize about that. Bad taste. Bad. Bad, bad, bad. Okay, um... All right, I think this is where we're going to leave it off. I'm going to go ahead and open up that last show pack. Because you never know. There might be a diamond in there. Nope, there isn't. Instead, it's a bronze. It's a bunch. It's a bronze and a bunch of uh, comments. Okay. All right, well, guys, that's it. Uh, thank you to everyone who tuned in, even if it was only for a moment. I greatly appreciate it. Uh, if you haven't done so already, please be sure to follow me here on Twitch and or subscribe. Either one would make me a very happy person. You can also um, follow me. But you can also subscribe to my channel on YouTube. If you're watching this on YouTube, uh, thank you. I hope you do subscribe. I hope you turn on notifications excuse me, notifications. That way, YouTube sends you an email every time that I post a video. I'm actually in the process of, po uh, of posting one right now. Uh, it's just it's just processing, which is very good. Uh, so that one will be up in about a few minutes. Um, and if you want to know when I go live, you can follow me on Twitter at JeffreyWerner3. My link is underneath in the About page, so go check that out. You can also turn on notifications here on Twitch. It's also below uh, below here. That way, Twitch will send you an email every time I go live. I'm going to be on, on Diamond Dynasty again tomorrow. I'm thinking there's going to be some monthly awards programs that we're going to have to check out. Uh, I need to call SDS and figure out what the hell happened with with my Adam Duvall card because it's not showing up for me and I completed the thing and I know I didn't discard it. So, uh, I'm going to have to figure that out, but we'll see what happens tomorrow. I hope you'll tune in six o'clock PM Eastern. Come check it out. And I hope you have a great night, everyone. So long.